During this year's edition of the Defense 24-Day Conference, the Oshkosh Defense JLTV, Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, was also presented, equipped with a Kongsberg RS-4-M153 Crows J, Common Remotely Operated Weapon Station, Javelin, Remotely Controlled Weapon Module with a Large Caliber M2 Machine Gun Cal 12.7mm and a Javelin Guided Missile Launcher. Let us recall that JLTV vehicles are the result of the Multi-Role Light Armored Vehicle Program, which has been implemented since 2016, and its aim is to replace a large part of the currently used Humvee, which has been in use for 37 years. Hence, the largest user of Oshkosh vehicles is the U.S. Armed Forces, and the U.S. will receive the most JLTV. Army, over 49,000 PCS, in turn, the Marine Corps, USMC, over 15,000 units and the Air Force, USAF, about 2,000. The cars will also go to the equipment of the National Guard, USNG, and the U.S. Navy. JLTV Oshkosh is a proven design, the work which began in 2005 and lasted for 10 years, including a series of comprehensive tests to check the operation of components and entire prototypes, their durability, and the effectiveness of protection systems. During them, the prototypes defeated over 400,000 miles. Although the vehicles are delivered in various variants, the basis is two versions slash platforms, the JLTV Combat Tactical Vehicle with a four-door cabin and four seats, and the JLTV Combat Support Vehicle with a two-door cabin. In both versions, the permissible total weight is 10,206 kg, they differ in the load capacity, 2,318 kg for a vehicle with a short cabin and 1,590 kg for the four-door variant. The four variants currently being delivered are M1278, Fire Support Vehicle, M1279, Transport Vehicle with Two-Door Cabin, M1280, General Purpose Vehicle with Four-Door Cabin, and M1281, Carrier Armed with EG BGM-71 Tow Launcher. Regardless of the version for JLTV, single-axle trailers with a load capacity of 2,318 kg are dedicated, which are adapted to the off-road capabilities of the vehicle. When it comes to the mobility of JLTV, thanks to the solutions and components used, it is high, both on a tactical and strategic level. The vehicle uses, among others independent, a digital TAK4I suspension system, thanks to which each wheel can move vertically by more than 50 centimeters. The digitally controlled suspension of the TAK4I is not only adaptable to weather and terrain conditions. There are several preset modes slash working heights, including tide, which can be used, among others. During air transport or on landing ships, JLTV air transport can be used not only by transport planes such as C-130, C-5, C-17, or A-400 but also by heavy helicopters, CH-47 and CH-53. When it comes to off-road capabilities, the drive is also important as the suspension. It is a Gale Banks Engineering 866 T6.6 liter V8 turbo diesel with a capacity of 340 horsepower based on the GM Duramax engine and the associated Allison 2500 SP six-speed automatic transmission. JLTV can reach a top speed of 113 km h and its range is 480 km thanks to the use of the TAK4i suspension. The vehicle can also move at higher speeds in the field than, for example, the Humvee. Importantly, JLTV is also equipped with an onboard 10 kW generator, which is related to the growing demand for electricity supplying the systems installed on the vehicle. It is also worth mentioning the hybrid version, EJLTV, presented at the beginning of 2022. It is characterized by lower emission of pollutants, lower acoustic and thermal signature, in the case of using only electric drive, as well as greater fuel economy with a simultaneous increase in power and off-road capabilities. It is worth emphasizing, according to the creator's declaration, the hybrid JLTV is to charge the main drive lithium-ion battery with a capacity of 30 kWh while driving in just 30 minutes. Thus, it solves the basic problem of the use of this type of drive in military vehicles, which is the need to have infrastructure for charging the accumulators. In addition to the classic version of this car, it is to ensure lower fuel consumption by as much as 20% with no need to have a towed generator thanks to the transfer power of up to 115 kilowatts, the vehicle can supply electricity to external devices. He's coming in hot.